Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Julian Effects. All right, um, it's actually the close of um, market session for Wednesday, and um, I just want to show you what I think of the market ahead of tomorrow, which is Thursday, that's fifteenth of September. And I want to be sharing with you um, a few setups here that actually interest me. Okay, and um, we are looking at um, first. I'm looking at gold. Okay, I'm looking at gold first. Um, initially, in my last session, I spoke about gold having traded in this series right here. So gold having dropped into here. So I spoke about gold bouncing inside of this series. That was my pre-market analysis. Okay, so we saw that on Monday, gold bounced here. Tuesday, gold bounced. Now we have gold back into the territory here. So I'm looking at a possibility of continue buying gold to the upside. Okay, so we had a higher close right here. All right, higher high, higher close. Okay, so we had a um, market drop down, more of retracement. Okay, back into the territory. So I think in my assumption, okay, my assumption that. Um, Everything is cool there, but um, technically, okay, so technically, um, we're going to look at technically what I think about the gold and what I'm seeing technically with the gold, what's happening here with the gold right here. So we can see that gold actually dropped into this territory, and I spoke about this territory many of the times, okay, in that session, also speaking about that. This area here is actually the drop, you know, here from the swing low to swing high right here, and you can see that this area tagged nicely the peak, um <coughs> Territory nicely, okay. The 61.8, okay, and also the 72.6, okay. So that starts nicely, and we had gold actually bound just below this area here. So, in my, in my um, opinion, okay, about gold and this setup right here, which I'm seeing right now, so I'm gonna actually walk the setup with you guys. I'm gonna walk the setup with you guys as to what is happening with gold in this one. Okay, so what is happening with gold in this one is gold is actually ready to um make another push. Okay, gold is ready to make another push. So let's just go back to a higher time frame. We can see how gold actually came in here right here. Actually fell right here. Okay, so this drop here is not actually a confirmation that gold is ready to go down okay so gold actually is on its way into testing the new high of similar to what it did right here having dropped into peak levels we're going on back to test new highs so i believe that gold has reason to come back and then test new highs around the 18 17 area and even probably up to this point here before then we can look for the direction for gold so gold is ready to still make a push upside okay so that's with gold let's move straight into another pay ahead of what is gonna happen in the asian session all right so um if you're new to this channel okay i'll recommend that you subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be receiving notifications whenever i post videos such as this one all right so next we look at the aud Okay, AUD USD actually looks like this after a strong impulse run. Okay, so what I'm looking at for the AUD, I'm looking at this to be wave one, and we're gonna move to wave two, which is a wave three, and that's what it came in as a corrective wave up here, three wave move up here to wave four, and then that was five down here. So from this point on, what we expect to see from this is a three wave move correction. So more of, I'm expecting to see more of an expansive wave or some sort of, you know, slow movement right here and then another drop can actually continue to the downside all right so that's for um aud so aud i'm expecting the news release to actually push aud further into this territory before the retracement starts coming right around there and to look at the next expansion or something even more small okay and then that can actually continue down all right so that's what i'm saying for the aud usd i don't know what um if you have any other um, suggestions or any other ideas as to what this chart may actually look like you can actually let me know okay so on monday i still spoke about the gbp AUD. what i intend to do let's look at the daily time for what actually happened from the daily perspective we also had it that um price was able to close above without a higher close above the from the moving average okay but that's not really um 
the right now the zero right now that we have is set up right here so we have it set up right here and this is very nicely done okay so this nice done set up here right here so if you look at the chart carefully you see that this actually started as a leading channel so actually the leading channel right here so we lay up here and we had the one two three four and five which actually came from the leading a Okay, so this actually dropped back into this point. So we're looking at running a B down to this point here. So we're looking at running a C okay, up here. Okay, so I talk about this many times. And what I want to see is I want to be seeing a more corrective, okay, more more corrective movement right around here. So I wouldn't be surprised. I talk about this many times that I want to only buy right inside this territory. I don't want to be in a hurry to take any trading decision. When it comes to the GBP USD, I want to buy only from this point on. So whatever is happening here, I don't think it really interests me. Okay, so I want to buy inside of here to go to the next leg, which is the E leg. Okay, so I'm looking at running the E leg. Okay, up to that territory there, and we're gonna work out a plan of doing that. Okay, so we just um, need to see what is happening and then. You know, I always recommend that you plan your trade and get your plan. Okay, so that's the best way to trade. Alright, so what is happening here is what I do not really understand. But um, in my opinion, I think um, here having rejected here and made the first high, I think price could actually move in the three wave corrective move here. It also a possibility. So I would only wait for price to drop into this zone. Then will I be able to? buy to the upside because that will actually make more money in terms of risk to reward okay to so make more money in terms of risk to reward and that will be very awesome because at that point in time we'll be looking at risking about um okay that'll be six, six pips okay so we're just gonna be way little bit above about 60 pips from that point on and we're gonna target massively um let's look at our target what's gonna be looking like our target is gonna be somewhere around here so we're gonna target 150 pips okay so that's gonna be wonderful we're gonna risk so that will then make us be able to take a 152 point risk to reward trade okay so it makes the most sense okay, so looking at the next one we're gonna be looking at um the usd card this one doesn't really impress me because what I'm seeing with the USD card, I think um, USD card is actually selling here. So until from life comes back to USD card, but at this point, anything above this thing should be first. Looking at this small contract right here, I think I was ready to buy here. So here I talk about the signals coming in the market, and actually the market dropped into the territory. I wanted to buy at this point, so we are uh, into or not triggered. So we are still not in the market. So I want to see how fast we react one more time instead of this area as it continues to drop into that zone. Okay, so this zone should be able to hold price. Once this zone is being taken out, I think there's actually a start of problem for that energy and for buyers here would actually be certain that of problem. Okay, so let's look at um the USD JPY. Okay, so the USD JPY, I'm looking at USD JPY and um, a lot of things happened today, Tuesday as well. I'm um, working out this pattern right here. So this pattern has been here quite a long while for this pattern here because this is actually the first, so this is actually the A, the B. Okay, so what is happening here should have contracted and then setting price up, but you can see that this is actually what is happening right now. And as you can see that so far, so good price have not been on to take out this point. Here. So I think um this is very huge. Okay, this is very huge. So I can't really tell what what is going to happen in the next few days but what i'm going to tell you is that we're going to wait for setup okay so we're going to wait for setup we're going to wait for setup as to be able to take a certain decision when it involves this one okay, so we're going to wait to sit there hang the tight and wait for decision because here is a very massive drop and we can see that also the angle see the angle the depth okay so the angle here right from this point on we can see the drop coming in here so we can start planning for short opportunities you have to still continue to be able to take out this point and then right to the downside. Okay, so that's for the USDJ for what? Okay, so um, I think that will be all for today. But before I wrap it, let me just take a look at the USD Mexican peso. So the USD Mexican peso is actually 
taking thinking about the new dreams campus. So I think it should be very careful because after this one, I think Bryce is still to continue calling on to your son life come back into this one. Okay, so apart from that, we will be waiting for life to actually come back into this one to be around the video. But let me show you on a medium scale what I think and how this actually set up so, here. Um in my opinion here. Based on experience, okay, based on experience here it just dropped one. Okay, so we had two, three, four. So, so this should have been the completion pattern here, which at least price should have come up to test this point. So this is what we're looking at. But then I actually made this one to drop back one more time. Try to move on with this one, also drop one more time. So move on with this one. So it's more of one two three so it's more of a looking at a con what we're running at right now is that we're running an internal um contraction there you know internal contraction and whatever it's gonna be we, we need to see what is gonna happen with this internal contraction right here so it started right here one now we have it here so until we are able to take out any of those previous structures there it is this one it is this one right here Okay, let me just take this out. Okay, this one right here. Or this one right here. This one right here. So, uh, however, this is a good support area which price could also respect. But um, looking at how price is actually being positioned, there is more setup for a, uh, um, a drop than um, a push up right now, unless we will be able to see some live coming to the market because for this point here we, we have the correction around here you can see this nice correction of the three week move right here and for the price drop down so i'm thinking about the price if price is gonna still make its way down it's gonna still drop down if it can go up it's gonna drop one more time down taking out that whole structure and that will be very good for so people that are actually waiting to take that by trade or are actually in the trade so i would like to wait for or stack up more confirmation as to how I'm gonna approach this in the days to come. Alright, see you soon. I love you all. Love and bless.